I mean, do you feel that black audiences are harder than other audiences in order to really break through? I mean, once you're established and they already know who you are and they're buying tickets to your shows, they're already prepared to laugh. But if they're not already familiar with you. I think that I've never, I've noticed that there are things I know about people who've had my shared experiences. Mm. So that may make me comfortable. So I would say that the level of comfort is different around people I know. Okay, fair enough. But I don't think human beings outside of experiences are different. So for example, in the, uh, the Fat Tuesdays documentary, right, they had Steve Harvey on there. Mm. And he was saying how like you perform to a white audience, you're not doing well, they'll be like, oh, like he's trying. Okay, good for him. <laughs> Yeah, black audience will like start looking at each other, <laughs> put their arm over the show, over the chair, <laughs> mm-hmm. start having conversations amongst each other and, and so forth. I, I, listen, I think I think that everybody, I think that people organically want you to do well, mm-hmm. and then they get uncomfortable when you're not. They don't want to. <laughs> that yeah. might be Good a dickhead to, to an audience. They want you to do well, but I think the 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 level of comfort is an internal. It's that you feel. Oh, they look like me, so I have a kinship with them. Mm. When I go to a restaurant, I look around and see if it's a black dude in there. Like yep. I, I like okay, because that is about my comfort. But but being an entertainer, I think specifically being a comfort a comic is about being uncomfortable. I, I I just don't think you can ever name me somebody that achieved something um, that where they're moving forward, where the goal is to be comfortable. Yeah, and 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 if that's the goal, then you're in the wrong business. I feel you. You know, the Fat Tuesdays uh, documentary, it, this was an era that I missed. Mm-hmm. I, I did interview Guy Tori, though. Right. I, I just did, too, for Fat Tuesday. Right. Okay. And um, I didn't realize how important that night was. It was. And you were part of it as well, right? I did, well, here's the thing. I never went uh, to Fat Tuesday. You never, never performed? Did. No. Okay. Uh, My and, bad. And I didn't do the documentary because I didn't perform. But, right. Ghana, but it, was, it, was, it was because of this. I come off the road... I just, uh, it just was weird to come off the road where you've been working all weekend and then go somewhere and joke around about the things you were just earning a living with Tuesday. <laughs> so I got, and I got to fly out Friday again. So it just never worked its way out for me. But I, I think that it was an invaluable part because I think what was important was that at a time where black people didn't have a place to be and agents didn't have a place where they could feel comfortable and go. It provided that so many deals, so many people, so many uh, uh, shows and movies came out of that dynamic that it was obviously a valuable thing. I just didn't participate in it. Well, you were doing Kings of Comedy by that time, right? So you were already like, <laughs> you didn't need the launching. But you already have the, the sitcom by that by that time. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. But it wasn't. It wasn't to me. It's just one of the things that's important to me is to keep my pers- perspective pristine. Mm-hmm. You know, and and the thing about. Chefs don't cook for chefs, they cook for people. When you start to do jokes for comics, you become a different thing. Hmm. Chefs don't cook for chefs, they cook for people. Okay. Mu- you don't play music for musicians, you play music for, the, for people. Right. If I start telling jokes for comics, or started, started trying to please a, 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 a jury of my peers, that's a good point. It is, I become a different thing. So my perspective yeah. is, uh, I, uh, not, to, not to knock anybody else, but for me, I want my fr- footprints to be the first ones in the snow from my perspective. And I think that's just. No, I feel you. Like, I mean, I don't give a shit what Charlemagne or, mm-hmm. you know, academics or Adam 22 think of my interviews. Right. I'm not doing it for them. Right. I respect these guys. Right. And I think they're good at their craft. Right. But I'm not about the people. Doing, right. You know, I mean, I, I don't hit up, yo, Charlemagne, what did you think of that last interview? Right. Did? You know, if we talk and they mention they saw some, cool. But I'll mention they I saw some of theirs, but yeah. But You're imagine right. a room where everybody's at. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm not going. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a, because then it's then yeah. it's just about. Um, I think to be a great champion, you got to play away games. If you play home games all the time, yeah, that's why you went to Fox News. Yeah, that's why I went to Fox News. <laughs> that's why you went, went to Fox News. Yeah. 